Jesus Christ was so great, they stole him from us. Bring it out. They painted him to look like them. Bring right. That's how great our Messiah is. That they made him look like them. Right. Right. Huh? Understand that. And in the distance, if you ain't get it, it was never meant it. The spirit probably never bear with us. If it did, you would roll with us. We the chosen, we the go get us. This one here for the heathens. We the new, y'all the old school. King David with the dance moves. Black Messiah with the water shoes. Backstroking on them. Watch out, he got the water moves. Backstroking on them. Set the stone, we can never lose. Today, we're out. today is the Sabbath day. So we're out here to show our so-called, you so-called black Spanish and Native Americans who you are according to the Bible. All right, read that. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. So understand, we're out here today to speak the word of God, God's word to our people. Read on. Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. God's going to put it in our mouth. Do you understand? Because today is the Sabbath day. Do you understand? Today is a Sabbath day. There's no buying, selling, cooking, or working. It's a day of rest. Give me that Exodus 20. It's a day of rest. So understand, we have to come back and repent and come back and come out of the ways of America. Come out of the ways of this world. Do you understand? And part of that is starting to apply God's laws to our life. Do you understand? Please. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So understand, we're supposed to remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. All right, holy and separate from all of these other uh, 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 these other days of the world. You understand? Uh, Halloween had just passed. Thanksgiving is coming up. All right, the Lord's day, the Sabbath day. Read: Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So understand, you got six days to do whatever work you need to do. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord, which is today. You understand? So guess what? You should not be going and buying and selling anything today. We should not see all these cars driving by with all you Israelites driving to whatever it is you're going to. Whether you get something to eat, whether they're going to, uh, 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 to these businesses, whatever the case may be. You understand? You're not supposed to be doing any of these things. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. No buying, selling, cooking, or working. It's a day of rest. Read on. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy maidservant, nor thy manservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gate. So guess what? We're not supposed to be doing any work as well. Do you understand? No work today. Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. It's a day of rest. All right? Uh, give me uh, Exodus 35 and 3. All right? Today is the Lord's Sabbath day. So we have to come back, come out of the ways of the world. Okay? And hearken to the words of the Lord. Read. Exodus chapter 35 verse 3. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. And also, you're not supposed to be kindling any fires on the on the Sabbath day. You understand? That means cooking. All right? That means cooking. What you're supposed to do, give me Exodus 16 and 23, is prepare those things before the Sabbath day. You understand? But on the Lord's day, you should not be eating any hot food. You understand? So that means you should not be going to uh, 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 Burger King or McDonald's or any of these places. You understand? We should be keeping God's laws. Read that. Exodus chapter 16 verse 23 and he said unto them this is that which the Lord has said tomorrow is the rest of the holy sabbath unto the Lord bake that which ye will bake today so understand yesterday right you should have been doing all that baking and everything like that taking care of the things you need to take care of before the sabbath day read and seed that 
ye will see. And that which remaineth over, lay up for you to be kept until the morning. So understand, you're supposed to do all that cooking and preparations the day before the Sabbath day. Not get to the Lord's day and actually start buying and selling and breaking God's laws. You understand? That's what we should not be doing as a people. That's why we're in the destroyed state that we're in as a people. You understand? That's why. Give me Hosea 4 and 6. We are destroyed as a people. You want to know why you're getting shot down in the street? You want to know why our families are destroyed? You want to know why our communities are destroyed? We are destroyed because we're not keeping God's laws. Right. Read. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You understand? Do you know, sister, today is the Sabbath day? You know you're not supposed to be doing any buying, selling, cooking, or working, sis? Did you know that? So understand, sis, you got to come out of the ways of America. you got to come out of the ways of the world. Read. Read, read it again. Hosea 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So understand, you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Give me that in Malachi 2 and 7. What's the knowledge you're destroyed of? You're destroyed because you lack knowledge of God's laws. You lack knowledge of who you are. Believe it or not, this is not your rest. This is not your rest of places. This is not the land of milk and honey. Read that. Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth. Read it again. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. So that's what we're supposed to be seeking out of God. That's what anyone that says that they're a pastor or a minister or any of those things, we're supposed to be seeking God's laws out of their mouth. You understand? Know Not their personal testimony or whatever they went through. Give me, uh, uh, give me First Corinthians 2 and 15. Because understand, we're hearing that you can't judge. God, you got you can't judge nobody, right? Can't nobody judge you. Well, guess what? How about you go to the courtroom when you get that traffic ticket and you tell that judge that you can, he can't judge you? How about when your child is standing before that uh, before that judge and he's ready to pass sentence on that on your child or on you? You tell them you can't they can't you can't be judged. Bring it up. Bring it up. You understand? We right. can't judge. We just can't. We're not going to condemn you. You understand? We're trying to get you right. We're trying to get you back and bring you back to your true self. Right. But right. yes, you can judge. And we're going to bring that in the scriptures. Read that. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things. Wait a minute, read it again. But he that is spiritual judges all things. So guess what? Someone who's spiritual can judge all things. What does it mean? Give me, uh, right. give me Romans 7, 14. So yes, you can judge. You understand that, brothers? You understand that? You can judge. Judge righteously. You understand? That's the problem with our people. We love lawlessness. That's why we have, that's why we have the conditions that we have in our communities. In every place on the world. Every place on this planet. Read what it means to, uh, to be spiritual. Read. Romans chapter 7, verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, so under sin. So understand. Those that are spiritual under the law. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.